Awesome. All right, we're here. Hey, everybody, Laura St. John here from Strong Confident Living. I am so excited to welcome you to the Body Image Workshop. This has been a work in progress, I would say for many, many years, actually since the inception in my belief of Strong Confident Living, which was to help everybody step into their strength, step into their confidence, know that that's all inside you right now, that everything that you absolutely need, every solution is inside you right now. Now, this is a big one because a lot of people feel stuck, like really stuck inside a body image that they do not want. And that level of frustration is what may have drove you here to this workshop right now. If you are finding me live, awesome. Thank you for being here live with us. I love your energy. I appreciate everybody being here. This is gonna be juicy. So make sure you have a pen and have paper handy. Sometimes another great tip is to just listen and absorb this first go around and replay it later. So maybe you're watching this later on replay or someone shared this video with you. It's gonna live on YouTube. It's gonna live in different places on our website. So perhaps you found us on a recording. Wherever you found us, I believe that you are exactly where you're meant to be. So trust in yourself right now, trust in the process and say those things to yourself. I am exactly where I'm meant to be in this moment. I trust in myself, I trust in the process Stuck is just a feeling, okay? I like to underline the word just. Stuck is just a feeling, which means you can get unstuck with your body image. And as a mindset coach and co-founder of Strong Confident Living, my job is to help you get unstuck in this workshop and give you very practical tips that you can take with you immediately, today, that could be life-changing for you. So I have a really, you know, and this is not just like a little workshop. This is as deep as it gets because this is literally how you speak to yourself. This is how you treat yourself. This is how you walk around planet Earth all day long. Uh, speaks volumes to your relationship with yourself and your body. So where in your path along the lines that someone convinced you that you were not, or maybe something convinced you were, that you were not beautiful enough? Maybe how long has this been a struggle for you? And if you're new, you could put new in the comments below or on the chat. And if you are, you know, an OG, you've been with us for years and you've been following our Strong Covenant Living content that we've been in development for years. We are always designing new stuff to help you get more strong and confident. But this one, like I said, is a big one. At what point along your path did this get started? Was it something? Was it someone? You know, was it in, maybe it wasn't intentional, but something convinced you or started to convince you and that judgment became a voice that you internalized inside your head. And then it became your voice to yourself. So when you were young with kids, new to this workshop, thank you. Yes, since I was a chubby kid and got teased for it, totally. Okay, we have all been there. And I think that's something that unites us as human beings is that we've all struggled with all different things. But there's something that's way more powerful inside the human spirit, and that is love. Right? And when we move from a place of not hating ourselves and hating the image and hating, hating, hating on ourselves all day, then we can really create. And that is also my job here to help you move from stop hating and start creating. What I found after coaching thousands of people over the years and even going through my own oops moments and struggles with my own body image years ago, okay, over a decade ago now, which is why I can really step out and teach on this. I have zero resistance now. Like I literally can do all the things that I'm teaching about. So like, I really believe in terms of your teacher, not only have I helped myself, but I've been able to truly hold the bar for you until you're ready to hold the bar for yourself. And I'm able to do that because I don't feel the resistance anymore because I've created the body that I love. And it took me a, like a path of love and time. And I, and I love teaching it. I know this is why I'm here. Okay, so this is, might be why you're here. You're like, Laura, well, sign me up. I'm ready to make change. I'm ready to have a new practice. I'm ready to stop practicing hating on myself. I'm ready to start practicing creating my next chapter. So that's why you're here. That's why I'm here. We got that down pat. And I want you to continue to recognize, you know, where again did that convincing start? And where did I start equating a certain image with my happiness? Where did I start tying an, a body image, like what I want to see in my body, to the level of happiness that I'm allowing or disallowing, that I'm allowing in or not allowing in? 
And when did those, when did I hear those voices that were not mine start to become mine? Okay. And, and then I held on to this feeling of disgust, this feeling of shame, this feeling of guilt or disgrace or sadness, and all of the things that we hold on to as feelings that started as thoughts. Now, maybe now I, I just have to like ask you guys on a scale of one to 10, 10 being like loud, how loud is that voice? And when you look in the mirror that is pulling you apart, you know, is like, is it a one or two, like you're loving on yourself or is it like a nine or 10? Like you only see imperfections. You only see like what you want to fix. Yeah, girl, nine, but now a six. I know you're in a program. 10, nine, 10, loud 10, nine. Oh, only see imperfections. Seven, I can see the people doing our work. 10, nine, okay, right? This is why we are here. That, uh, you know, that voice has become really loud and I've eternal, internalized it, Laura. I've been practicing it. Well, what is it saying? Because one thing that, I, like, this is a workshop, guys, and I'm just going to start and we're going to go deep. What is it saying? You can write it privately on your paper. If you are feeling courageous, write it to the crowd because I bet what your voice is saying to yourself may be very similar to what other people's voices are saying to themselves, okay? What is it saying to you when you look in the mirror? What is it looking at? I don't like this, I'll never have that. Ugh, I wish I had this. Ugh, look at that roll there, you know, or whatever it is, or oh, I'm too thin, like I can never gain weight. It can go either end, you know, because people have asked me, is this just a weight loss thing? I'm like, no, a lot of people find me to lose a tremendous amount of weight or stop emotional eating or stop all kinds of patterns in their tracks. But this is, you can be any size, and not love on the body, right? So wrinkles, chubby, it's telling me I'll never be small, I'll never be able to wear a two piece. The never, never, nevers, we're gonna stop tonight, okay? The never, nevers, or ever, evers, okay? What is it saying, how loud, and how is that making an impact on your life? How is that, like, like how is that impacting you through your day? Because it starts for most of us in the morning. Right. When we walk out, we wake up, we see ourselves in the mirror. You know, the mirror sees the version of us that brushes our teeth. The mirror sees that version of us that gets all ready to go out the door. The mirror sees the version of us of everything. And what is, you know, the mirror and those voices are, are, are literally like running on autoplay or replay. And I want you guys to really ask yourself, how much is this perhaps impacting other areas of my life? How much is that this block, this stuck feeling that maybe I've had for years and years, creating a stuck feeling that's oozing into stuck with other areas that are beyond just you and you versus you, you know, in your other areas of finances and health and, you know, relationships, any, anything else, your career, all aspects of your life, 100%. Yes. Yes. And yes. Okay. Again, that's why we're here. Um, you know, I really want to help you change and I want to help you create the change. I want to help you create, uh, stop making actions from frustration because a lot of us have the voice inside our head and then we we've trained ourselves to misuse it. So I'm going to talk with you about how we've trained that voice to be our motivation. And I'm going to help you untrain that. I'm going to help you untrain that. Okay. So again, I'm here, Laura St. John, to also remind you that you are not born with these thoughts. You are not born, you know, as a baby rolling over to the other baby being like, look at those rolls, okay? You are not born like pinching those rolls and being like, ugh, no, okay? You are not in the carriage as a baby or in the little, like, you know, in the little seat looking at the other baby or child being like, Eh, you know, like, look at what you have. You are not, you are not that way when you were born. So that is so, so important, you know, that you're, you're not looking at each other in the stroller. Like imagine that that version of you, this not comparing and needing to receive a certain image of yourself to feel happy, that that version of you still exists because you actually have felt it but then you've been layered up with all these other layers. And this again has had a tremendous impact that maybe has impacted other areas. And a lot of people don't realize sometimes, and I didn't even realize this until I went on my own body image journey a few times. And I realized that I didn't realize how much it was blocking other things. That the relationship and how you treat yourself every single day 
Are you waiting for the results to be in order to be happy? Or can you just be happy? And I was, I got to the point and I had my own oops moments where I sat back at 40 years old and I was like, what makes me happy? And I was uncomfortable in my skin after, you know, having years and years of different things. So everyone has it because, you know, I want to just remind people that, that even if you look at one another and you see, you see each other being like, but, but wouldn't you like, look at your body, like, wouldn't you feel good? And that it's not happiness and body image is not exclusive to a certain size. It's not exclusive to a certain fitness level, but we often tie it that way. Okay. We often really tie it that way. Okay. So it does impact everything. Yes. It impacts and affects relationships and impacts and affects everything. So I love all your chats. My sister cat's going to keep answering y'all, but I want to roll up our sleeves and start to make some work with you guys right now. Okay. So if you're taking notes, the first thing I would write down is trust in myself. The second thing I was write down is I'm ready to create a new practice. Just like you can practice grumpy, just like you can practice happy, which is what I love to train you all on, right? How do I practice happy? How do I snack on happy all day? You can also practice a more positive body image because you've practiced a negative body image. It's just been a practice. It's practice thoughts, which bring up practice emotions, practice emotional habits, which often then lead to practiced like actions and behaviors. Let me throw in the towel. Let me go emotionally eat. Let me stress eat. Let me feel better with this. Let me do that. Right. And it creates a whole self-sabotage. So in this workshop, because this is to do the work, that's why you came here. This is not just to listen to me. This is actually to, to make commitments and start the work. I want you to commit to a new practice. Okay. And commit, this is a big one. I promise to practice caring more about how I treat myself than the results. I'm going to say it again because it's really powerful and you guys can always watch us on replay because I'm going to keep going and I've got a lot of juicy nugs to dish out. But I promise to practice caring more about how I treat myself, literally from this day forward, than my results. This is the work. Okay, this is the work. And I promise you that commitment to yourself that you are willing to practice how you treat yourself, the person inside your body, every friggin' day is going to make the biggest change. It is going to create from a different place. So promise me that. And if you promise, like you are committed to treating yourself and being like at least focusing on how you're treating yourself, even 10 minutes a day, Give me a heck yes or a yes or <laughs> Laura, uh huh, whatever that's comfortable for you in the chat because I am ready literally for commitment, commitment to make a new practice to help people treat themselves better. 100% commitment. That is not hard. Tell me if you think that's hard to just say, yes, I promise to just practice being nicer to myself than being obsessed with results. Because I promise you, results will happen faster. If you want the fast track today, which is what I'm dishing to you, if you want the fast track to get to from point A to point B, this is the path that you've been seeking. This is the path 100%. I am certain there's not one cell of my body that's not certain that that is the pathway for you. Because I know not only for my own self, but the pathway of being nicer to yourself will get you to the results. And if you have to write that down, write it down, right? The pathway of being nicer to myself and kinder to the person inside my physical expression, right? My, my body image, the person inside it, that is going to get me to the results exponentially faster. Okay. That is how I quantum jump people, quantum jump. Because every time then you're going to start practicing being mean to yourself, it should be getting more and more uncomfortable for you because you've now made this commitment. You've made this promise to yourself right now in front of tons of people, okay? So you should feel uncomfortable because that is not your truth. It has just been your practice, okay? Recognize the difference in that. Anything that does not make, I'm, I'm gonna keep talking as, as if I'm you. Anything that makes me feel uncomfortable 
is not the direction that's in line with the truth of where I want to be going. Everything that feels good and better to me is in line with where I want to be going. Wow. And if I make it my practice to feel better a little bit, one degree every day, imagine how fast I will get to my results and feel good about it when I actually get there. Because you know what's so disheartening for me over the years, especially being in fitness, is seeing people get to that 35 pounds, 100 pounds, and then being like, I thought I was going to feel happiness now, and now I don't. And then they gain it all back. So if you are sick and tired of being uncomfortable, if you are sick and tired of gaining it back, losing, gaining, getting on track, needing negative motivation to push yourself forward, if you are sick and tired of feeling the yo-yo roller coaster ride of ups and downs, of highs and lows, of needing to get to the lower low place in order to motivate you again to move forward, if you're so done with that, tell me that you are done. Like claim that you're done <laughs> because the more you own it, the more you are teaching yourself and you're being accountable to all the people here who feel the same way. Okay, done, done, D-O-N-E, my favorite word if you work out with me, D-O-N-E on the planet, let's be done, check, check, okay, because being done, like being frustrated is actually good. It means you're so, there's so much discomfort because you're ready for change. You're ready for change. It's now what you do from here where most people go wrong, okay, and this is where I'm going to untrain you. <laughs> so I got to untrain where most people go wrong. Okay. Most people are like, I'm feeling so done, Laura. I'm so done hating on myself. I'm so done this. I'm so done that. I'm so done with this body. I'm going to start the new plan tomorrow. Or even worse, before you know you get to our stuff, it's like, or I'm not going to eat, or I'm going to like punish myself with a workout. Or you know, most people go into punishment mode to try and justify the guilt and the shame and the sadness and the pain. I'm done with that. Okay. You're ready for a new way. That does not work. Moving yourself from negative emotion is toxic fuel. I, like really hold on to that because if you can learn one thing again from this workshop, besides a whole lot of body image tips that you can apply today, moving into action while you're feeling negative is toxic fuel. It will bring you back on the roller coaster ride. Okay, so this practice, this workshop is to move you out of these things that I have seen over and over and over not work. And then it's quick flips to be like, well, then what do I do, Laura? And I'm like, all right, there's a new practice. Okay, there's a new practice. But let's start get by getting unstuck. So do you feel stuck in your current body, maybe even for years and years and years and years? Okay, tell yourself and write it down that you said stuck is just a feeling. So unstuck is a feeling unstuck is a feeling. I'm ready to be unstuck, Laura. That's why you're here. So if you have been, are, so, are also sick and tired of waiting, waiting, waiting. Most people are stuck. What I noticed when I started coaching people years ago is they're like in this waiting game, waiting, 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 waiting to get the nice clothes, waiting to do all this, waiting like to, for this reward, that reward. I'm waiting, Laura, until I have this. I will not allow myself to feel good or get all these nice things or receive a compliment until I'm here. And so tonight, like it's totally, <laughs> totally done. I love it that we are done with waiting. Okay. Remind yourself and each other done, done, done. No more waiting. No more waiting. The time is now to start the, like everything that I'm about to dish to you. The time is now, and that should feel a huge weight off your shoulders that you can have a free pass right now. You can write down a little like card. I always love this exercise that I give you, which is like, write down free pass. No matter what you've gone through, what you've been through, what struggles you've endured, that just tells me you even have more strength inside when you pour on love to give it. And that should be a big relief to know that body image starts with a feeling. It doesn't start with results. So if you're stuck waiting, waiting, and waiting for a certain result in order to feel happy, it should be a relief to know that I am here to help you shift your feelings. And I am here to help you shift those feelings before you get the results 
So when you get to those results, you can actually feel happiness because you've practiced happy. You've snacked on happy. Okay, so I'm gonna go through, I have like 10 major things to go through. So let's keep going. All right, yes, 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 so true. Thank you, I'm looking at the chat. You guys are amazing. And thank you guys again, if you're watching me on replay um, or someone sent you this, this is juicy stuff. This is not light. This is deep, as deep as you wanna go, I'm ready for you. So number one, acknowledge I'm stuck and own it. Stuck equals, I can't see past my current feeling. Okay, that's it. Just say, I am normal, I am human. I'm owning that I've been stuck and all stuck equals is that I can't see past what I'm currently feeling. That's it, that's all stuck is. I'm helping you see a different vision for yourself and feel a different feeling. So you can move out of this quicker, but that's all stuck is. So I just wanna minimize stuck. Okay, can we just like talk about stuck again? <laughs> because everyone comes to me stuck and I'm like stuck, stuck's nothing. Stuck is just a feeling. You just can't currently see past what you're feeling right now. Okay, that's so normal. That's so normal. You can change though. You can change that immediately, okay? So the next step is write down what you're feeling currently stuck in. Disappointed, guilt, shame. What is the typical feeling that you have around your body image? <laughs> need to release the stuff. Yes, Jody, we're doing it. We're that is all my job is actually. I love the way that you were, use the word release because all I'm doing, and you'll know it because it's going to ring true for you. Whenever I speak a truth right to your heart, it should light up. Okay. And literally that lighting up inside your heart, my heart opening to your heart, literally that connection that we have, me and you. Oh, these are really cute cups. I got to show you right now. I belong with you. I got these for Scott, my husband, but these are, you belong with me. <laughs> okay. This is us right now having that connection. And if I'm lighting it up inside you right now, and you're like, oh my goodness, that's me. That's me, Laura. I do that. And that feels right. Okay. That, that tip you're giving me, oh, that feels good to me. That is like me helping you release a block. I want you to imagine, because that's what I do when I teach you all happiness, which is really tied to your body image. Like many of you have tied incorrectly. I'm just helping release the blocks as if it's like a block that's in your path, but I'm just like helping you move away, helping you move away. But you're the one doing it and you're the one feeling the truth. So I want you guys each time that you're like, oh my God, that's me. And I could do that. And I can make this change. And I can practice being kinder to myself. Every time like we make these little changes, pat yourself on the back because you have to turn from your biggest critic to your biggest cheerleader in order to receive a compliment, in order to change your body image. And that might sound so far from where you are right now. And I get that. You're like, Laura, I judge myself all day long. Being a cheerleader, are you kidding me? All right, well then let me be your cheerleader and hold your bar until you hold that bar. That is again, my job, okay? So that's all stuck is. Let's just minimize stuck, let's squish it down. Let's like make it tiny, like a little block and let's like flick it away. <laughs> it's nothing, it's nothing, it's just a feeling. So when you recognize I'm disappointed, I felt guilty, I felt like a failure, I feel like I'm the problem, I feel like I, I, you know, start again, stop again, like I'm feeling all the guilt and shame around this, just own it. Owning it is conscious awareness of it, and even writing it down is like, I own you. You don't own me anymore, disappointment. You don't own me anymore, shame. You're not going to make me go to the fridge. You're not going to make me do these things. Like you're not driving anymore. And that's why if you guys have taken a lot of my mindset classes and programs, you know, I, I love the analogy of like, take the keys back. Time for you to take the keys back and drive. Okay. It is, it is exhausting. It's exhausting. All those emotions or trying to be like one thing on the outside. Yes, Chris. And something else on the inside. That's exhausting too, because it's a mismatch. Like you want to be beautiful on the inside and the outside. I'm going to start with you from the inside and make your physical expression ooze out to the outside. Okay. It will, it will, because the physical follows the emotional and mental capacities. Anyway, we'll develop them. Ready? Next thing. Number three, uh, how low do you, have you had to go in order to take action? So here's my examples. How, uh, first of all, can we just all account that we've had some big oops moments over our lifetime? <laughs> We've all had oops. Like, oops, I've been really mean to myself. Oops, I keep hearing that like coach's voice since I've been 10 years old. Oops, 
I hear this voice since I was like, you know, 25, whatever it is that you're hearing. Can we just all like discount those right now? And I'm just helping you minimize them because when we minimize them, we are owning them. And we are like, oops, had the oops moments. Oops, oops. I like tried to take a picture of myself to put it on my wall to remind myself what I didn't want to look like. Oops, okay. Oops, I tried to always push myself from negative mo motivation and had to sink lower in order to feel really crappy about myself to get started. Oops, you know, oops, I didn't eat all day because I was punishing myself from eating too much over the weekend and I looked in the mirror, I stepped on the scale, it told me that I wasn't on track and then therefore I went into some negative actions. Oops, okay, so yes, too many to list. Okay, so just let's own that somewhere along the line, all of us that are oopsing all over the place, okay? We've all had oops where we've equated skinny, or like, right? This was me at least on my, my oops journey. I was like, after having three kids and people were telling me I'll never have my body back, blah, 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 blah all the stuff that I didn't believe, but it was starting to play in, in my head. I was like, skinny must equal happy because I'm not, I'm not feeling it right now in the body that I didn't want. So therefore heavier must equal unhappy, okay? And it's different for different people, right? Like I said, we've coached people to add on you know, lean muscle and they're like skinny must equal unhappy and I need to add on lean muscle to feel happier. So that's where I'm like, you guys, can we just ding, ding, ding moment this right now? Can you just ding, ding, ding your oops moments with me and just say, where did I connect body image, this image that I saw of myself with my tool for happiness? the happiness that's inside me, regardless of the size. When did I connect those two things and then punish myself or allow myself not to eat or that I worked out even harder to undo the calories that I just had. And I started to overdo, oops, 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 oops. Okay, these are all oops. I started to overdo it in order to undo, which is all coming from self-hate. All coming from self-hate. <laughs> not from a place of strength not from a place of confidence, not from a place of anything that will actually create the results that you desire long-term. It may create the, the results short-term, but if you're again, so sick and tired of like on and again, off again, that is why you're here. This is about long-term results. This is about your strong, confident life with us, right? At Strong Confident Living. So body image, so that's like step three is to recognize that you, you were looking outside of yourself to start a new plan or listen to these voices. So now it's about looking inside of yourself and say, number four, body image starts with a feeling. I deserve to feel better. You deserve to feel better. You deserve to feel better. I don't know how many people tell you that. So that's my job. You deserve to feel better. I promise you. A lot of people do not feel like they're deserving and you can look around and maybe justify different people and toxic coworkers, or maybe even people in your household that are justifying why you do not deserve it. And so someone has to be another voice that you can internalize just like these other voices you might be internalizing and allow it then to be mine if you don't have others and yours is not loud enough yet. You deserve it. You deserve to feel better. Every single human, it is your right to feel better, 100%, starting right now, okay? You are not the problem. You are not a failure. You've never been the problem. You've never been a failure. Maybe you failed at things because they weren't like the, right, the thing for you, but everything led you to this moment. Everything, even the quote unquote, I have to put it in quote failures because you guys know in my six week mindset transformation courses and stuff that I do with you, like I teach you to rewrite your failures, right? I teach you to do all these things because a failure is just giving you more strength. A failure is, uh, uh. again, like I talked about, ooh, don't go that way, Laura, <laughs> that way, not comfortable. Don't want to do over there. I've had quote unquote failures in my life plenty of them. We all have. And anyone who hasn't is not being truthful because that is why we're here. We're here to expand, kind of slip up a little bit, fall down, get up and dust off. But how well, Lisa, do you dust off? Do you dust off? Do you lighten up on yourself after you're down? What do you do when you're stewing in the down? 
that's where we make the changes with you. That's where you need someone else to be like, I got the bar. No, nope, you're down there. You're beating yourself up. You're not like hating on your body right now. Don't move into action. Don't start that diet. Don't like do the workout right now at a punishment. Don't, don't, don't. You need that per You need that other voice that's louder until it becomes your voice. Just like these other voices from your 10 year old past or whatever became internalized. Let like nothing lights me and Scott up more than we hear you guys get the comments being like, I heard Scott being like, you got this. You got another rep in you. Just when you think you can't, you can, right? Believe. And then you hear my voice being like, no, 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 no. Pat yourself on the back up. Get back up. It's okay. You got this. It's oops moments. Lighten up. Oops. Everyone has oops moments. Everyone. So yes, dust it. <laughs> dust off. Get dust. Dust off. Okay. So let's continue the work. You deserve to feel better. You were never the problem. All these failures. It still led you to today. It still led you to this moment. I got all my notes here for you guys. And OMG, like where's my little strong covenant living out? This one. Huh. Okay. Let me just, let me just, I love that. You hear me? You hear us both all day. I know we got little Laura on one shoulder. You got little Scott on the other shoulder, maybe bigger Scott, but little Laura on, on one shoulder. And I'm speaking into your ear all day, but eventually that's just your voice of truth. And again, when I'm speaking into you, if it's lighting up your heart, is really your voice too. We share these thoughts and if they're true to you, they feel good and they can become what you practice. I've practiced this like my life depends on it because it does. Happiness is your number one job. Being happy then in any body image is your number one job. And then maintaining it is the biggest challenge. That's where you need the roadmap. That's where you need the coaching. That's where you need the community that has your back, right? And then sharing it. Nothing gets me more excited when I see you all now that are going through our stuff. And then I see the, the shares that are happening and sharing it it becomes exponential because then you become the voice for someone else. You become that loud voice for the next person who needs it. It's so powerful, guys. All right, so this is what I was just talking about with feeling ick and black. When you practice this, someone asked me this the other day when I did a broadcast in the sand and I'm like, here's the- Yeah, line. I did. I did. Oh, they did. They did. Yes, Denise, thank you. I love that question. And I'm like, you know, she's like, I'm practicing like meh. And I'm like, all right. This is, this is the difference between, this is just your ups and downs of life. Maybe you had a really like, like a bad, you know, program and then you gained the weight back and then you're like, then you went, got inspired and you had an up, you know, Laura I got in shape. I started loving myself more, all this. And then you sunk down again. This is the yo-yo thing, but this is sometimes happens for people like in one minute, one hour. But the, what I always want to share with people is the reason I can quantum leap you to your goal, and that's why I love manifesting and epic goals and no excuses and all the courses that I teach you on, the, the reason is when you're down here, okay, through life, every time you're feeling a down, you can remember any time you felt that way. That's why you can remember the voice of the body image of the kid that made fun of you when you were 14 years old. Because you're like, now I'm 65, Laura, and I hear the 20-year-old voice, I hear the 30-year-old voice, I hear the 14-year-old voice, I hear all the times that I've ever felt this way because I'm still feeling it down here. Okay, but you can jump and all of that possibility exists right here, right now. From point A to point B is not linear. And that's why I teach you all how to up spiral versus down spiral. Because up spiral, I'm like, you could get to point B faster when you know how to do a different practice which is practicing a greater joy and happiness of where you are right now, giving things your personal best right now, giving the personal commitment that you're willing to practice being nicer to yourself, just something as little as that, let alone all the other tools that I teach you. But the difference, this is your line of courage and truth. Okay, this is all like what's possible when you feel good. This is where you can create. Okay, you don't create from a place of hate, but that's where most people start trying to create. But what happens is when you're feeling the negative emotion, you get a whoosh. Negative emotion is powerful. Frustration is powerful. That's why we want to take action because nothing prongs us more than discomfort and pain, right? So we think we need to go there. And that's like the biggest human problem, honestly, is that we think we need to go get to the next pain in order to get to the next high. And that's what causes the yo-yo. 
but the difference between where you are right now, like if you're vibing at being like not so nice to yourself, this space between where, where you're being mean to yourself and the truth of who you are, that space causes the emotion of pain. Because if you were just here, you're just like Zen state. <laughs> you're here, you're like happy. But if you're down here, you're like nah, to negative to negative. And the further you go, this is a huge learning nugget. The further you go from the truth of who you are, the worse you feel. So this is going to be a big relief to people too, who have really practiced a ton of self-judgment and a ton of being mean and hate, hate, hitting on yourself all friggin' day long. That you, you may have just been practicing and like riding this in life where you're down here all the time all the time. And the further you go down, even though it feels like a burst where sometimes life inspired you to take on the new diet or a different plan, and then you went down and you hit a deeper bottom, the further you go to get to the next high, and then it just, again, it gets higher highs, lower lows, that perpetuates not only the yo-yo, but the, that you get further from who you are. You get further from the truth of you. So just know that that's normal. And that's part of being human, these ups and downs. And that what's so, again, relieving is that when you commit to just feeling better, whether that's one degree better and then the next day is another degree and the next day is another degree, eventually you are getting yourself on a path towards the truth of who you are and then towards this love and excitement and creation and everything above this line creates from a place of truth and love and everything. Okay. Everything. This is where true creation happens. Okay. That's where true, true creation happens. So that's kind of some deep stuff, but just all you really need to recognize is, gosh, have I practiced something that is like so negative for so long? Am I so ready for change? It's just been a practice. And, it, and, and if I, like, if I allowed myself to get into like the tears and the crying and the self-hatred even deeper, and now you can look back and you can just sit back and be like, oh, just by me recognizing and being consciously aware right now that that is not the truth of who I am because it's, it's actually feeling really bad to me. It's feeling even worse. You mean this is not who I am? And I'm like, ding, ding, that's not who you are. <laughs> Hallelujah, right? It's not who you are. And sometimes you just needed someone to just remind you that that's not who you are. And that's like, again, who you knew in the beginning when you came here, that's, that's not what you were practicing. So that little left or this right, um, the truth of who you are, just you'll get to it by committing to feeling better and better. Okay. The truth is, if this feels good to me, that is, that is my truth. That is awesome. If this feels good to me, because I'm setting myself on a path towards, Hey, like I want to have positive body image. I want to look and feel great with every decade. It doesn't mean I have to accept what I do not want. Okay, this is a huge learning nugget too. A lot of people think like, I had three kids, I have to accept the battle wounds, like look at all these posts, like all these people saying, because I'm this age, now I got to accept myself. And you're like, but I don't want to. Like, this is not, I, I'm not happy in this body right now. And if, if they're telling you that you should be happy and you're not feeling happy, that could actually make you feel worse, right? So if you're like, but yeah, you're this age and you've had these kids and you should, and like, you should rock that scar and you should rock this thing and don't worry about the stretch marks and da, da, da. Now, and listen, if you're like, yeah, I own it, that's awesome. But if you're looking at yourself and you're like, but that's not what I want to believe for me, that doesn't feel good or it doesn't feel my truth, you'll know your emotions. That was a great question, Mary. Your emotions are always guiding you to what is your truth. And I'm not saying feeling bad like is not, not your truth. Whatever you're feeling is your truth because they're your feelings and you're living inside your own skin feeling them. So that was really like something that I had to go through post three kids, all these moms telling me about like, that's okay, Laura, it's okay. You shouldn't like need to have a six pack in your you know, 40s. Like even though that was a goal for mine, I'm like, I just wanna be able to wear shorts. I wanna, I had never worn shorts in 20 years. And people looked at me and I'm like, what? Like, I'm not comfortable enough, you know? So you guys, but people wanted me to like be up, like applaud myself. And I'm like, I get that. For those of you who feel that way, that's great. That's the truth for you. And I'm, and that's amazing for you. But that wasn't the truth for me. 
I wanted to look and feel better with every age. I wanted to believe that I could recreate my body. I wanted to believe that whatever I was feeling didn't have to be permanent. And that when people were shining the light on, and I'm talking to all you people who people are shining the light on, but you should just accept it. And that's a lot of this whole like self-love body image thing where a lot of it goes in my perception and my belief down like an unhealthy path sometimes because sometimes we're reinforcing like, but you should love yourself. And then someone's sitting back being like, but I don't, I don't want to accept like the body as it is. So I'm here to say, this is a big tip. It's okay to want something other than what's in the mirror. Okay. It is okay to want something other than what you see currently. You should be happy, you know, that you have this or that, like, yes, I agree. But like, if someone's trying to dictate their vision for you and it doesn't feel right to you, that's your truth. That's their truth. You have to distinguish those and say, it's okay to look at myself and desire something differently. This is huge. This is huge. Okay. Because that's actually how change happens. Change happens by looking at something and desiring something differently. However, however, okay. It's not about accepting it. It's not about being like, oh yeah, because again, that could make me feel like that's actually being judgy. When someone is judging you for not accepting yourself, they're actually judging you. When I'm like, I hear you. You're not happy with what you see in the mirror. You desire change. That's normal. That's how you create change. I come at it from a very different place, okay? It, it, it's not about accepting something if it doesn't make you happy. What makes you happy, like might be small muscles. What makes the next person happy might be big muscles. What makes the next person happy might be a totally different body image, okay? So, so don't further reinforce sadness when someone's trying to shine the light being like, but you should feel this way. That's gonna make you feel more guilty, but this is a big but, to create change, to create lasting change, you cannot do it from a place of hate, okay? So it's one thing to look in the mirror and desire change. It is a whole other thing then to go into action from a place then of hate. And that is where I come in. That is where I come in because you don't create lasting change. I, and like put this in huge letters, I don't create change from hating myself. I don't create change from hating on myself. It doesn't mean I don't have to accept the vision, like the, the current thing that I see in the mirror. I don't have to like, be like, I want that. But you still can love the person inside that body. And that's the process. That is the process that I am here for. Because it is a process of unwinding these things and saying, it's okay to want something other than I see in the mirror. It's okay to want more. That's how my change is going to happen. But then am I changing every friggin' year from hating on myself, from punishing myself, from allowing these voices take over and then be in charge? Or am I really creating from a place of wellness, strength, and confidence? And I'm telling you guys, 99.999999% of people who are stuck on this and not on a smooth train track towards seeing this very amazing vision of themselves in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s, loving on every version of your transformation, right? That's where most people go wrong. That is where most people go wrong. Pretty much everybody. <laughs> That's where I come in. Okay, so we're retraining these, these things and getting you on the fast path. Uh, Massive change is possible. Okay, I want you to tell yourself, you can retrain, I can retrain myself. Massive change is possible. Okay, the results in front of me can change. The results in front of me will change when I treat myself differently. Okay, yes, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you must love the person inside the body, no matter what, no matter what. Okay. And it's okay. Just again, I've trained myself to use judgment as my fuel. I'm going to retrain myself to get into massive action from a place of positivity. Wow. That's a new practice. If wow, that's a new practice for you, you need to be in our programs because that is all I practice with you. 10 minutes every day, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. It doesn't take a lot to set your intentions and go into action from a very different place of not self-hate. Okay. Love the person inside the body because the person inside does love you. It does. It does, it does, it does, okay? 
So free pass it. Um, now I, oh, I'm gonna share my screen because I gotta show you guys some things with what I'm doing. Um, bada bing. There's me. <laughs> okay, so in if you're in our membership already, you're gonna see that um, the body image course dropped. It's in there. Okay. I'm gonna give you guys a special two and a promo and all that. Um, when you go to, well, first of all, let me just, I'm going to add a couple more things and then I'll, and then I'll share with you guys this. I just don't want to, I don't want to forget because I get all caught up in my stuff and then I don't want to forget. Okay. I have all of these fun things for you all and in the mindset. So for those of you who are in already the course, I just want to kind of walk you through some of these things because the course just dropped tonight. It says I'm 11% done. And it includes a worksheets and workbook that goes with all this stuff. But I want you to start the work with me right now. And I know we just did a whole bunch of stuff. Oops, okay, I gotta log, I gotta log in, right? My Zoom is just lagging. But I wanna show you a few things before we, we cut out. And I wanna give you guys, members and newbies, a special code. So you guys, if you wanna join in, you get an awesome discount, okay? And commit to yourself, commit to this practice with me. But at this point, let's just start doing some of the work. So I was starting to share that worksheet as a guide so we could do some of these steps right now. So the, the guide first is, you know, recognize which we did already, some of the voices that are still inside your head that are like old, that you're like, so done with that, so done with that. Choose to nip it and zip it. If you've done any of my lessons, you know I'm all about nipping and zipping things and not letting things ooze into other areas. Then I want you to always note, like I'm normal, I'm human, I'm ready for change. Ooh, this is a big one. I want you to clean up. Okay, this is a good practice. Permanent language. Okay, here's, here's what permanent, permanent language equals permanent blocks. So for example, um, this is like keeping you in cement. Okay, I hate my body. It was ruined by blank. It was ruined by a car accident. It was ruined by, you know, I burnt myself. It was ruined by a pregnancy. It was ruined by, you know, some struggle that I endured. It, it was ruined by blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you fill in the blank. And I'll never be the same, okay? I'll never fit into whatever I think was Lori said, a two piece. I'll never, never, never. I'll never look like I was, insert like whatever age that you always say. I'll never look like I was in my 30s or 20, you know, whatever it was. Um, I'll never, never, never. Or I'll always have this problem. Okay, I'll always have this mark or this, that. Okay, I want to bust some myths with you before we close out. I want to bust some myths and I want to, you know, teach you guys a couple more tips. Myth buster number one is that my body is always changing. Okay, that's a myth because you're, the, the only constant is change. The only constant is change. The moment you are like, I will never have abs. I will never like love myself. I will never like be in a positive body image. You are closing the door and you are sealing it with like 10 locks. So you have to bust that myth and say, bodies do amazing things and my cells are always changing. There's amazing things that happen, okay? People who have like not walked, walk. Like people do incredible things, like unreal. So the moment you use permanent language, you are keeping yourself permanently stuck. So when you choose language, like I'll never or I'll always, you are closing the door to the notion that solutions are truly everywhere. You are closing the door to the ability to have like something miraculous happen, right? And I mean, I don't know, I gave birth to three kids and I'm like, I made lungs? Like I made those organs? Like I made another human? So I know bodies can do amazing things. And this might tap deeply into your faith, into your faith inside yourself, into your faith, into the greater good, right? But there is amazing strength inside your body. Your cells, what they're doing to keep you alive right now, even like you're not even thinking about breathing and your lungs are pumping and all these things, like your bodies do amazing things. And yet we reject them all day. We hide them from photos. We, we hide them in baggy clothing. We yell at them in the mirror in our head. We do all these things, 
okay, which is just being mean and it's stress. So what I, what I found is when people started finding me years ago for weight loss and emotional eating and stress eating, what I quickly found was it was so tied to the body image because I'm like, that is causing all of these layers of stress to like layer on and protect you. And you're holding on to them. You're holding on to this excess weight. It's just excess stress that you are creating and continuing to perpetuate. So nothing gets me like more excited than helping people love on the body every step of the way, but also like look at the body and say, you know what? I'm done carrying the excess weight. I want to be healthier. I want to be happier. I want these things, Laura, and I deserve them. And you do. And if you can't find it in your heart right now to say, I deserve it, then look at all of the people that love you in your family and do it for them. Do it for like, do it for all the people you give your strength and confidence to all day long when you don't give it to yourself. Okay. Do it, do it for them. Okay. And just let's, you know, sometimes they're really like, well, I just got to be real, Laura, like these 25 pounds, they just don't budge. <laughs> so all my realists in the crowd, right? Like this is, you're, you're closing the door if you're not open to other solutions to come your way, you're closing the door. And that's what I, that's what I'm always asking you. You know, what I'm realizing is that like, you should just be asking yourself, am I blocking this? Am I blocking this right now? Am I blocking myself from like loving on myself or rejecting myself? I cannot, I don't have to accept the image in the mirror, but I have to stop rejecting the person inside it. Okay. And that is huge. That is probably the hugest shift because you can change when you start to recognize that body image is a feeling and that you deserve this. Yes. Am I in my own way? Yes. We always are, right? Self-doubt creates the roadblocks. Insecurity creates the roadblocks. And then shame and guilt and sadness that we have latches onto them and invites them back in and grows them bigger. And then the actions that we take because of that feeling, like eating, overeating, and those were just your tools when you didn't have better tools. So that's why I'm like, stop, you know, stop. Because overeating or grabbing the chips or the ice cream or doing all, all those were just practices that made you feel better at that time when you didn't feel like you had other tools until you found other tools. And that's why I'm here to give you new tools. Okay, to use. So I'm going to make sure that I could share this and let me pop up my screen. Preview as student. Okay, I'm going to share with you guys the workbook. Um, bada bing. Okay, so when you go inside Strong Confident Living, you're going to see the when did you become convinced that you were not beautiful, how the yo yo diet messes your body image. Uh, this is a big one, how to accept a compliment. All these are different videos that I've created with the workbooks. Um, dress your body, not your body image. Simple tricks to lose weight, grow taller. <laughs> how, to, how to change your reaction to the camera. How to shift what you see in your reflection. And of course, a reminder that you're always in a transition. Your body is always changing. Okay, your body is always changing. And this workbook is in there. So the workbook is going to help you go through the content with the videos, but then do the work with me. Okay, literally find the thing. I mean, even just right now, find the thing. Like I'll give you two like lasting tips. If you're looking at the mirror and not liking yourself and you're seeing the imperfection, at least find just as many like things that you like. Like I like my eyes or I like how strong my legs are. And another big tip is when you're, if you are having trouble accepting a compliment, besides just saying thank you as a start, start to answer with like, I, I, I'm starting to work on myself. Like when someone's saying you look good, you're like, I'm really, I'm, I'm making it a practice to feel better every day. Okay. So you don't have to be like, I'm amazing. Or yes, like, cause that's the mismatch. Like, but I'm promising you that you're on the road to getting there. When you start to tell people like, I'm working on it, make it a practice to work on yourself every day because you are always changing. Okay. And you're just like your feelings, like I had two myths to bust. 
just like your body is permanently changing and solutions are everywhere and you can shift and change, your feelings are always changing. So again, you've just practiced the negative. You've just practiced the negative emotion of not feeling good in your own skin. I'm gonna launch uh, just one other thing. I wanna give you guys uh, the code, okay? So I'm gonna do two things now. I've got a special thing for you all. If you're not already inside our programs in Strong Confident Living, I'm gonna show you a few things. Sorry guys, got booped. Okay, here you go. So again, when you're inside mindset, you'll see all of our new mindset stuff. And if you go to this code, I'm just gonna put it in the link for you guys. We're doing a special 20% off the annual pr program. So typically our program is $30 a month or 360 a year. The annual is 299 and we're doing another $60 off. So it's a total savings of 120. If you wanna commit to yourself and make this a practice a whole year with me, then you, here's the link to that. I'm gonna post it publicly to all of you who are in this workshop and you'll get an email There we go. Oops, not that one. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. So that link will be for 20% off. Thanks, Kat. Um, the annual program. When you do the annual program, for those of you who are brand new, I mean, so anyone who's a member can do this and upgrade their membership, and I will bump you out of your monthly or six month program. And if you are, you know, ready to commit to the full year, this is literally to me, um, if I, I would only do the one year program because I see the people who do the one year program log in the most, actually do the practice every single day. So it really is a, to me, the best deal in terms of what you can do. It includes the private group mindset coaching. This is a public coaching forum that you just saw a live workshop. My private coaching that I do as a group with you guys is literally one of my favorite things. Okay, thanks, Chris. I can't wait to meet you and see you inside. Well, I know you, but can't wait to see you on the inside. Um, let me share again. So, on, and again, this is for members too, but I don't know whether, if you guys are brand new to us and you're like, but what do I get, Laura? Like what actually comes with this membership? It's all the mindset classes, all of the fitness classes, beginner workouts, all of our programs. We have 25 signature actually, yeah, 25 signature classes in here from beginners to advanced. We actually design workouts for the people who do not work out, okay? So if you just need five to 10 minute beginner series just to get up and moving, that's where we get started and they're really fun and hilarious. But you also get all the mindset with me. So if, you, if this spoke with you and you're like, Laura, I need just the mindset course, but I wanna you know, reset my healthy habits. I wanna you know, not emotionally eat anymore. I wanna be on this transformation, then commit to yourself you know, is what I'd love to say. And you don't have to do the year program. You could do the one month or the six month. Um, go to strongconfidentliving.com you know, if you need to check out other programs or just let me know. But you guys, this is it. Like this is really it. You, and on top of it, you're getting the live coaching events and you're getting the community. Our community of strong, confident people is, are the best people on the planet. They've got the biggest hearts. And sometimes I always love to tell people that I really think that sometimes a lot of your strengths have maybe gone to other things that you've endured. And it's time to reallocate your strength to yourself. It's time to recreate your next chapter. It's time to recognize that every time you're feeling pain, are you going into action? Or are you learning a new practice to flip it and then take action using the steps and tools that I give you. So I love it. I am totally enjoy working with all of you. You're like my family. Um, you know, it's been amazing. It's awesome, Mary. Time to renew your membership. I love you, girl. And you guys, I'm glad that you're always learning something. Heather, thank you for bringing all three generations onto this call. That's just amazing. 
um, let me know. I, I, I could literally do, you know, if I could talk for two, three, five hours, you know, what I would, <laughs> but it's all in there. I promise you. Um, oh, just in renewed another year. Welcome. Awesome. Awesome. Lori. I mean, for those of you who have been with us for years, just thank you and put yourself, pat yourself on the back. It continues to evolve. It continues to get more. It continues to get more strong and confident every single year. We always like crank out new content. We're never done because we believe in the constant evolving. So next month is manifesting course. The following month is happiness course, which is like one of the deepest courses that I've ever filmed. So every, every month we come out with new stuff and do new workshops. And then of course our workouts are super duper fun, juicy, all the fun things. Um, I love you all. And even if I don't know you yet, I already love you. Now go rock your body image. I know one of you asked for our swag and our clothing. That's shop at uh, shop.strongcommonandliving.com. Um, if you're already an annual member, you, you will get um, a, a coupon for, you know, what our, um, our store to rock some of our gear. Oops. Anyway, you guys are great. Have a beautiful evening. Be on the lookout for my emails. Email me back with any questions. When you respond back to the emails, it comes to me and my team and we will get right back to you. So thank you so much. Let me know if anyone has any questions before we call on a night. Any questions about the membership or our programs? Yes, all included in membership fee. Exactly. Everything's in there. Uh, everything we've got. That's basically our, our, our um, mission. Everything we've got. All right. Thank you for all the thanks. You guys are amazing. Have a beautiful night, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.